Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reef. On this episode, we're gonna check out a brand new product from Reef Factory, their Smart Filter Roller. All right guys, welcome to another episode of Parker's Reef. And Christmas has come a little bit early for me because the kind folks at Reef Factory have sent me one of their prototype smart reef rollers here. And um, this is the medium sized unit, which makes me feel like there will be a small and a large, but um, I haven't opened this box yet, so I don't know anything about it. I figured I'd get the camera out. We opened it up together, go through the process, add it to my frag tank because um, those of you who have been long-term viewers of my channel will know just over there, I have my dream reef tank. And um, just in there, I don't know if I'd call it my nightmare frag tank, but things definitely are not going quite as swimmingly as my uh, dream reef tank. And I think something like a filter roller is gonna really get that back on the right course. So this could not have come at a better time. That's enough of the uh, preamble. I think it's probably time we open up this box, see what's inside this unit, see what makes it different, if anything, from the other roller mats on the market and um, go about setting it up. Let's jump into it. All right, moment of truth. Might even sit down here so I can see what I'm doing. All right, first thing out of the box is uh, the roller that it uses. And I've got to say, this is, um, this is a pretty large roll. It's very, very dense, lots of layers there, and it's quite a decent diameter too. I'll be sure to get some close-ups of that for you. I didn't think the Reef Factory filter roller would need to really have any points of difference, to be honest, because not that filter rollers have been around all that long, and I wouldn't say that they've been perfected, but I don't know what else we need from them. So I am curious to see if there is any sort of crazy innovation on this unit, or if it's just connected to this Smart Reef application like the rest of the uh, Reef Factory products, which of course would be super handy, but um, let's have a look and see what we've got. Looks like I think this is a power supply here. Yeah, we've got power supply. That looks like a uh, pretty chunky motor with the uh, float switch there, which will trigger the motor to run. Looks like a piece of plumbing, quite likely the intake plumbing. Uh, looks like we have the actual roller here with some feet or hangers. And that leaves one last item to come. All right, here we are. Let me move some rubbish out of the way. All right, here is our filter roller. And I gotta say, it looks like it's probably 95% built, which is um, fantastic. And I gotta say the, uh, Build quality looks really quite nice. This looks like a, a PVC outer, not acrylic outer. It looks like acrylic here, obviously, with a clear and the, uh, oh, we got a little thing we can lift out here. That's where the uh, roller goes around. Very, very nice. And I've got to say, the footprint on it's quite small. Looks like we do have a uh, little caddy down the bottom there, which people often put their uh, filter media in. But um, I've got to say, that's pretty small. So um, you'd probably want to put some targeted media in there, maybe like a, a Purigen or a Carbon or something like that. But uh, all in all, it looks pretty cool. I reckon the next thing we need to do is get the instructions out and do the uh, final 5% of the setup. I imagine we've got to uh, mount some intake plumbing over here somewhere, probably fit the uh, rollers and the motor on, obviously mount the sensor work out how we're going to put it into the uh, Cade frag tank sump, and then um, put the roller on and connect up some power. Let's jump into it. The unit does actually come with the paper instructions that you can see me referencing there, but it also has a QR code to some much more in-depth and up-to-date instructions online. All right, step one is done. I've put the feet on rather than the hangers. They're easily changeable if that's not gonna work out. There is a uh, recommended water height right there. So when I position this in the sump, I can either move the feet up or down, or if I prefer, I can switch to the hangers and actually hang it off the side of the sump. But let's go for that height for now, and then um, we'll move on to the next step. All right, next up, I've just got to screw on the uh, little water diverter flap, and then I can put the intake plumbing on that you can see there now. And then I'm gonna put the uh, basket in with the uh, float switch on it, mount the motor, and um, feed in the fleece roll and uh, we're just about done. You can see the instructions here do recommend you roll that through the uh, body, then you tape it onto the uh, motor drive, roll it over three times and you're done. All right, here it is. The Smart Roller M is now complete. You probably just watched a very quick time lapse of me putting it together, but I thought I should just run you through it. It does come with some instructions which take you through it step by step. 
but essentially really the steps you need to do uh, to uh, screw on the water inlet on the side here the water will come from your um, either a pump or from your overflow come down into the middle here which puts it right in the middle of the fleece you just screw that on with a couple of uh, thumb screws on the side there same deal with the legs or if you want to flip those over and use those as hangers you can see they've got this neat little uh, hook here so if you want to flip them over and use that to hang it on the edge of your sump you can but I've gone for the foot operation which as you can tell here you've got a couple of extra holes there so if you need to raise it or lower it you can and obviously if you go on the hook style you might want to use the uh, options up here after that you pretty much need to uh, fold or uh, feed your filter fleece through the uh, rollers there and put it up onto the top roller here take that on wrap it around three times then screw your uh, motor on there again using the very simple thumb screws no tools needed in this setup which was super handy um, you've obviously got your feet on this side as well just to make sure it's nice and level and then you've got uh, your water adjustment uh, sort of flap I guess we'd call it here so you can have that half open or completely open or whatever you need to do to keep the water level where you want it obviously the water level is indicated here there is a float sensor in this section here which is what this cable is going from the motor there once the water level gets over that it's going to trigger that switch it's going to turn the motor on feed some new fleece around which in turn should lower the water level again now you do have the little uh, caddy down the bottom here which uh, you can uh, fill up with some media and then uh, put back in there the water is obviously going to exit the uh, filter roller down the bottom here and go through that so it is a good way to push some water through some media now if you need to manually feed it there is a button on the side here labeled manual you just press that and that'll manually operate that motor but um all in all it went together very easily probably due to the fact that it was 95 percent pre-built but I think it's probably time to go put it into my Cade sump well first of all I've got to make some adjustments to the Cade sump because um, even though this device has a very small footprint I'm not going to remove the uh, factory filter sock uh, holder and put it there I'm actually going to put it just after the filter sock so it's going to have to take some plumbing off which I'll show you on screen now and make a cut there then we'll get this filter roller in place and power it up and hook it up to the uh, smart reef application all right so at the Cade sump you can see it runs a Herbie style overflow that's where I want to put the filter roller and this is the pipe here the one with the tap on it is the one that takes 98% of the water in the Cade sump so I want to extend that out to the right and then down into the filter roller all right here is the uh, basic modification I've made I've uh, cut the uh, down pipe with the uh, gate valve which takes probably 99% of the water on the Cade systems. I've put a, a crescent moon on there which I will point out is absolutely not necessary. A standard 90 degree like the next one would have been fine but uh, I had one of those there and I thought it gave a nice sweeping movement. I probably could have also cut this section down here a little bit shorter to get that uh, filter roller up nice and tight to the original uh, sock baffle there but um, for all intensive purposes it is in the sump and it is operational despite the fact that I have not powered it on yet haven't added it to the um, to the ecosystem yet but uh, water is flowing through it so only thing left to do now is to grab this uh, power cable here and hook it up into there hook it up into my app and um, we'll go from there so maybe I'll jump on the phone I'll hit the uh, screen record and we'll run through that process together okay so after powering on the device jump into your wi-fi connections on your phone and look for reef factory smart roller mat or rf SRM with some numbers and then insert the uh, password which is a reef factory once your device has connected to that Wi-Fi and you'll see a little tick come up next to it we can then jump onto a uh, web browser which will go in here and then just go to let's have a look we go to a reef you can see I've had a couple of typos there previously and the device will come up I'm going to select English there are some settings here you can change but um, I'm going to leave those all as standard for now because of course they can all be adjusted later then you'll need to pick your Wi-Fi and insert your password you want to make sure you get the uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi there so make sure that you do have those named differently mine's now connected so the next step I need to do is hook up into my smart reef login so I'm going to put my email and password in there which will connect it up to the rest of my system now once that's inserted obviously I'm blurring that out so you can't see my details I can then get the uh, congratulations message I'll jump back into my uh, Wi-Fi settings to go to my standard Wi-Fi and then I'll jump into the app to see pretty much the same screen we see there but uh, give control along with all of the other refactory devices so I'm connecting back up to Parker 5 there I'm going to jump back into the uh, smart reef app and then uh, we'll find the device from there 
So I've got my dashboard here and I've got a few devices on my dream roof tank, but I need to look in the unassigned section. I can see the smart roller there. I'm gonna rename that if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna assign that to the frag tank and then pick my place of purchase. Then once I click OK, that will now show up on the dashboard with all of the other devices that are on my uh, frag tank. Currently we're showing my dream roof there, but if I go back over to the uh, smart roller, which we can see at the bottom of the list there on my uh, frag tank, it shows me that I've got a 40 meter mat and uh, haven't gone through any of the uh, centimeters or meters of that yet. Now, you can see here, I've got the uh, set up new role and all of the settings we saw there. I'm gonna select a new role because it is brand new. I can set it to off if I want to, and I can set it to automatic. And of course I can go to settings and view all of the options in there. Now, there's not a lot of things to pick up here. The, you've got the set up new role, you've got uh, how far it turns on one movement, the delay and a reminder time frame. To be honest, these are all fairly standard things. You can change them if you want. I'm gonna leave it as is and see how the device performs like that. All right, here we are. A month has passed since I installed the Reef Factory Smart Filter Roller Medium on my Cade Frag Tank. And um, I must admit, I was hoping that after a month, I'd be uh, a good way through a roll and I'd be able to go through the process of swapping out the roll and showing you what's involved. But um, I can say to date, I'm averaging seven centimeters a day usage of the fleece. And to be fair, it's probably a lot less than that. There's been a few days there where I gave this system a very thorough cleaning. To be fair, it was neglected a fair bit before and it got pretty well overtaken with algae. Now, before I fitted this filter roller, I did not go about cleaning it right up. I left it fairly dirty because I thought when I then cleaned it up in the system and gave all the walls and surfaces a good scraping and a good uh, detritus blow off, that it would make for some pretty extreme filter roller material on there. Now, whilst a couple of days it did absolutely go through a little bit of filter material. In fact, it went through 15 centimeters one day and I think 19 centimeters on another day when I gave a very deep clean. The majority of the time it's gone through a couple of centimeters of usage a day and uh, a month later I'm 50 centimeters into a 40 meter roll which at this rate of usage which granted is a fairly low bio load system at this stage I'm looking at a year and a half of usage out of a single roll which is absolutely exceptional and that's not to say that the system has not cleaned up. This frag tank is running considerably cleaner now than it ever has before with filter socks. Now, in fairness, a good portion of that is because I was a bit lazy with the filter socks and did not switch them out as often as I have to. But to be fair, on the other side of the coin there, that's exactly the purpose of a filter roller. It is meant to automate the lazy reefer out there in swapping those filter socks over because now I don't have to. And at this rate, like I said, it's gonna be a year and a half before I have to change out the roll, which is absolutely ridiculous. And I'm sure now that this system is back on track, it won't be a year and a half. But the point of it is, it's not something I'm gonna to have to do weekly, monthly, or probably even quarterly, these rolls are gonna last a very long time. Now, I should talk about the positives and the negatives of the device, and um, I guess the positives for me are pretty simple. It's done the job. I put it on, I connected it up to the uh, Smart Reef ecosystem, did that very quickly, very easily. The plumbing was super simple. The uh, assembly of the unit was also very, sim uh, very simple in that it just was pretty well built out of the box. Just had to sit the filter roll in it, feed it through, uh, use the thumb screws to put some feed on it, and of course, bolt on the motor plug it into power and we're off and running. Since then, I haven't had any issues, any dramas. The uh, app has worked flawlessly. It tells me the usage each, each day, it tells me an estimate of how much longer the filters rolls got long to last on it. It just has been super drama free, which is exactly what you want. You don't necessarily need to be interacting with your filter roller every day. You want it to just do its work and let you know when the roll needs to be replaced. And um, so far it's done that perfectly whilst also cleaning all the sediment out of my frag tank perfectly. Now, as for the other side of the coin, the things that I don't like about the unit, I've only got a few and they are very nitpicky, but I do want to point them out with you because I do like to always give a very open and honest review on any product I cover. First thing I want to talk about is this water level indicator here. I'm not entirely certain still after a month whether that is where the unit is meant to sit in the sump up to the water level or where that's the water level inside the unit is. Either way, I don't overly understand why that's indicated there and why we need to know it. It just confuses me. Now, hopefully someone out there who's much smarter than I am will be able to work out what that is for and they'll be able to tell me in the comments below. But um, at this point in time, I'm just confused by that and I feel like I probably shouldn't be on the unit at all. But again, maybe that's just me. 
Now, the second little thing, the nitpick, and it's um, probably loosely related to that, is there's no easy way to see inside the heart of the filter roller. So if you had a fish or something, or just a fish you couldn't find, and you suspected it went down your overflow, there's no real easy way to look inside the uh, mechanism of the unit without sort of cutting the fleece off and having a look inside there. And if there's nothing in there, then you've got to feed it all back through and stick it back on, get it all set up again, which is a little frustrating. I guess it's a little bit of the trade-off of the small footprint of the unit, that there's no sort of viewing window that makes it easy to see in there but again if I need to find some negatives there is a second one there. Now the third and final thing that I want to point out that I'm not thrilled with on this unit is the uh, media basket down the bottom. It's not massive which is fine I guess you're not going to fit all of your uh, filter media in there but the thing that does irk me the most with it is it only slides in and out one way of the uh, unit and the way I have it plumbed up currently it tries to come out this way and of course I've got a sump wall there, so I can't. So if I was to want to use that filter media tray, the only way I could get access to it would be to unplumb the unit and slide it out, which is pretty inconvenient. So at this point in time, I'm not gonna use the filter media tray, which again, is a little bit of a nitpick, but um, I do wanna point out all the things that I don't think are amazing on the unit. Now, lastly, there is one thing I wanna talk about which could elevate this filter roller into the absolute hall of fame of all filter rollers, and that would be to utilize some of the smart reef ecosystem the Reef Factory have. Now, it's a very poorly kept rumor or a whisper out there that Reef Factory are releasing a smart tester in the near future that will test both phosphate and nitrate amongst some other elements. Now, imagine if you had some device that would divert water either through the filter roller or bypass the filter roller based on your nitrate and phosphate results. So if your tank started to get a little bit low on nutrient, you could bypass the filter roller and just have that water circulate through your sump. And likewise, when the water got a little bit too dirty, you could push it through your filter roller. Or if you just wanted to do things like at feeding time, after you feed the tank for the next hour or two, you want all the water to go through the filter roller. To me, that would be absolutely game changing. And I don't think it is beyond the realm of possibility for the smart people at Reef Factory. In fact, I don't know whether you want to call it a wish list or a challenge, but it is something that I think would make this filter roller just unlike anything else out there in the market and would become an absolute no-brainer for every reefer on the planet. So um, consider that Reef Factory. If you could come up with some sort of smart water diverter to make the most out of this filter roller, I think you guys would have something that um, everyone else out there would aspire to. All right, guys, I guess I will wrap the video up here. Just to recap, it's been a one month usage of the Reef Factory Smart Reef Roller. And um, overall, it's been simply fantastic. I've had to do very, very little with it. From the moment I took it out of the box, it was probably a five to 10 minute setup with no tools whatsoever, thumb screws to put everything together, feed the uh, fleece through, put the motor on, hook it up to power, a one to two minute job to hook it up into the Smart Reef app. And then from there, it's just done the job. I haven't had any problems, any qualms. It's just gone about its business. It's very thoroughly cleaned my frag tank, which to be fair, was a little bit of a nightmare before. And it's now looking pretty good and it's in a position where I might actually be able to start putting some frags in it, which, you know, is the point of a frag tank. And then lastly, I want to touch on the potential for the future of the Reef Factory Smart Roller. Imagine a world where you could divert water either through your filter roller or bypassing your filter roller based on the nutrient level of your reef tank. I think that is absolutely game changing. And I, for one, please hope Reef Factory can come up with something to do that because it would just be next level. All right, guys, I guess I will wrap the video up there. I hope it has been helpful for those of you out there who are on the fence of getting a filter roller and are looking into the various options on the market. Whilst I cannot say I've tried them all, I have been very thoroughly impressed with the Reef Factory unit, especially with the potential future that this device has with the rest of their Smart Reef ecosystem, something that could test your nitrates and phosphates and then either polish the water or not polish the water based on those results has me very, very excited at the future of reef keeping. Now, I will wrap things up there. If you have any questions for myself or questions about the uh, Reef Factory Smart Roller, please let me know in the comment section down below. I don't profess to know everything about the unit, but anything that I don't know, I will reach out to Reef Factory and get the inside word for you. So. Um, please do, don't be shy and uh, pop your comments down there. Now, if you have enjoyed the video, don't be afraid to give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you're yet to subscribe, please consider doing so. It takes two seconds of your time, costs no money whatsoever. And I'd love to have you on board the Parkers Reef family. I guess there's nothing else to say other than stay safe, keep reefing guys. Till next time, bye.